In today's episode, we discuss how we integrated the incident command system in our health emergency management. Two weeks ago, Typhoon Glenda went straight through the Luzon Island and wrecked havoc in the Bicol region, Manila, Bataan, and Zambales with wind speeds up to 190 km per hour. Days before landfall, Olonga City Mayor Roland Paulino convened every concerned agency that will be involved in possible rescue and relief operations. The city then began to operate in what is what we call a unified command system or an emergency response system. The city health department was to become the medical arm in the operation section. However, the HEMS or HEMS or the Health Emergency Management Staff system is not yet recognized by the city of Olongapo. HEMS and even its predecessor, Stop Debt, was not implemented from the previous administration. Now, if we talk about the ideal setting in the ICS, it is actually the city health department that will manage or coordinate all of the medical aspect of the operation section. The ideal health emergency response operation is supposed to integrate search and rescue, triage, treatment, and transport. The previous city health department has little to do with emergency operations, which is why it is a very difficult time for me as the health emergency management staff coordinator to integrate what is being taught by the Department of Health as the proper way of conducting health emergency situations. We decided to practice what we've learned and integrate an incident command system when Typhoon Glenda struck along pole. To be more efficient, the City Health Department has to adopt a new way of managing health emergencies. The City Health Officer became our incident commander for the medical arm and it is backed up by the four general staff which is composed of planning division, the operation section, the logistics and the admin or financial uh, section. The planning section, which is the most important section in the ICS, was only occupied uh, for now by one documentation officer. He was in charge with uh, collecting all the reports of the operation section and finalizing the reports for approval by the city health officer before passing it on to the Department of Health Region 3. All of our reports use standardized forms provided by the Department of Health. They are very easy forms to fill up, especially during emergencies, which is very, very important. Now, what the Department of Health wants us to do is one, to prevent an outbreak from happening and two, to treat current diseases as they appear. Disasters happen when the current system cannot handle an em the emergencies. Now, before that happens, the DOH needs to be informed immediately so it is actually 
the main reason why HEMS or the Health Emergency Management staff was formed. So it's the job of the planning section or the documentation officer to keep the, the city health department informed also to pass important information up the ladder to the Department of Health so that they can respond swiftly in case a disaster happens. Now the basic health emergency operations is actually made up of four teams. One is the search and rescue team, two the triage team, three the treatment team, and four the transport team. Currently, the City Health of Olongapo cannot handle search and rescue operations. We had to brief the, everybody in the City Health Department of what are the three T's, the triage, treatment, and the transport. So each, each Barangay Health Center was to have a team leader and three assigned personnel for the triage, treatment, and transport. I told them, the various team leaders, to report to the different staging areas of each barangay so that they can be uh, utilized properly. Since the prevailing health emergency management system uses a decking system, we use those personnel on duty to go around evacuation centers and give prof prophylactic treatment. All report to the operations section chief, which happens to be me at that time. This is done so we do not overload the uh, decision-making capability of the incident commander or the city health officer. Smaller problems can be delegated to be solved by me and bigger ones can be passed on to a higher level through me as the operation section chief. Now the logistics section is the one responsible for all the resources and its mobilization. To prevent wastage of limited resources and so that the city health officer can decide on whether they have to augment the resources or not is done through proper documentation. So the logistics officer has to be accurate in all of his reporting. Now the admin or financial officer handles every other legal aspect of the operation that needs to be dealt with. In our situation, the admin or the financial officer uh, also stood as the liaison officer coordinating efforts with the city agencies and so that our incident command system is still part of the unified command within the city during this emergency. Now, I could say that we were moderately successful in handling the incident using the incident command system. This is, this is the first time that we've ever conducted an incident command system in the city health department there were a lot of problems and some resistance to the new system now the ICS is not is not was not designed to be perfect and the best way 
for us to learn is through evaluating the incident and then constantly formulating solutions so that the same problems will not be encountered or solved immediately in future situations. Now because of the documentation and prompt reporting to the DOH Region 3, we were able to receive augmented resources as fast as possible. Now this augmented resources was distributed to different health centers and evacuation centers which we all visited personally. The ICS-10 will now be constantly used so that the city health of Olongapo will be more efficient in handling health emergencies in the future. Also, our vision is that it becomes recognized as a focal point or the leader in health emergency management, especially during disasters. In the future, we will be discussing more on health emergency management. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And thank you for watching. I hope you stick around because I got more in store for you. So good day and mabuhay.